Hey creatives, who is up for another art journal page process video? I hope you are because I've got another one of those what happened next stories for one of the pages from my 12 tips of getting an art journal page started. Now if you haven't seen that video, do go and watch it and I've linked it up in the cards and also in the description below. And don't forget to come back to see what happens in this video. For those of you who have seen that video, this is one of the pages that I made with really thick acrylic paint and a technique to add lots of branching texture. So I'm just emphasizing that texture with some dry brushing here and using contrasting colors to really bring it out. Now I thought it'd be quite fun to add some printed circles onto this page. So I just grabbed the nearest thing I had to hand to do that. And that's one of those big sized gelato sticks. But you could use bottle tops, that would work as well for this. And you know, other circle shapes that you might have to hand. And all I'm doing is dipping it into the paint and stamping it out onto my page. Just a really quick and easy way to add some shape and interest to your page. I was going to use that big bubble wrap, you know the kind of stuff I mean? Unfortunately the only big bubble wrap I've got seems to have lost its bubble, so I went for this instead. I let the paint dry before moving on to the next step. Now I wanted to do some drawing and match it up with a bit of collage for this page. So I'm just setting out the basic design first in my brush pen and don't forget that I've got all the products listed below as usual. Once I've got the basic design down, it kind of gives me an idea of the size and where I want everything to be. It's total doodle heaven and I'm not trying to think about it too much. Now I do have a main idea in my head and that is to have one large feature element on this page and then smaller repeat elements on the other page. But you'll see how it comes together as I progress through the work. For the collage part of this design, I thought I'd make good use of the papers that I used to test out my DIY carrot roller stamps. I don't know if you remember those. If you missed them, they were at the end of the video about my favourite DIY stamp carving products. And I've linked that up in the cards and the description below as well. So this paper is just ordinary printer paper. There's nothing special about it at all, but it works perfectly fine. And once I've drawn out my design on it, I'm just going to stick it to the page with some gel medium. I'm going to put some music on so you can enjoy watching the process without me gabbing on and I'll catch up with you again at the end of the video. But whilst you're watching, have a think and as you see the, the patterns and how it progresses, let me know whether you think this should be two single pages or one double page. I'd be really interested to hear your opinion. And thank you in advance for everyone who likes the video and shares it as well. I appreciate it every single time so thank you all very much. Plus, don't forget to become one of my subscribers if you're not a subscriber already. I bring out new art, craft, inspiration, tips and tricks every week. Okay guys, I'll catch up with you again at the end of the video.
now you've had a chance to see it all come together and to see it in its final form and there'll be another full picture in a minute just hang on what do you think two single but matching pages or one whole double page spread let me know in the comments below i am really interested to see what you think and also feel free to ask me any questions as i didn't do my usual chat through there might be something that you're not sure about or something that went too fast you didn't see it so please just ask i will read your comment and i will get back to you i'm going to be back in a couple of days time with a new video but in the meantime here's some more inspiration that you might want to catch up with have some great fun creating this week thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you next time